Is it highlight? Is it sweat? We'll never know. My name is Regina George. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello and welcome if you are new. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Would really be lovely to have you join us here. Give the video. It's too hot guys, it's too hot. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about... What am I doing a video about? Yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about the parts in the West End that I've understudied because I thought that would be fun. Thought it would be a nice thing to share with you. <laughs> I've had loads of requests for this video. It seems you guys are like really interested in the kind of like understudy side of things, which I think is amazing because in my humble opinion, not like just tooting my own horn at all, but I feel like understudies in general just really don't get the recognition that they deserve. There's so many people out there working so hard, getting thrown on last minute, as you will all know if you watched my previous video, which I will link up here for any of you that may have missed it. It's all about me getting thrown on for the first time as my very first ever understudy part, slightly dramatic. Um, but yeah, I just think if you're an understudy out there, good on you. I know how you feel. It's a lot of work, there's a lot of talented people doing amazing, amazing things. So if you buy tickets to a show and you turn up that evening and there is an understudy on, do not be disheartened or disappointed because they were hired for a reason, because they can play the part amazingly. So don't you worry about that. Anyway, back to the subject of my video. Yeah, I'm just gonna like chat you through the parts that I've understudied in the West End, which I thought would be a fun little thing to do. I'm really, really hot. So to start at the very beginning, we start with Margot, who was the part I chatted about in last week's video. So when I was in Legally Blonde in the West End, I understudied two parts, two parts, <laughs> and the parts were Elle Woods. Elle is like the kind of female protagonist of the musical, she's like the main role. If you've seen the film, it's the part that Reese Witherspoon plays. Love that film. Funny like thing is, that film was my favorite film when I was growing up. I got it for my birthday on video when I was about 12, I think. And I literally watched it every night to go to sleep. Oh, hello, son. That's very bright, isn't it? Um, yeah, the final scene where she catches up chutney, that just is my favorite thing ever. See, so, yeah, I understudied Elle. And I also understudied one of her three friends. So she has like three best friends, Margot, Serena and Pilar. They're like her like Delta News who follow her around like in her little Greek chorus. They're like her biggest supporters. So I also understudied Margot, which was an amazing fun role to play. She got to do all the bits with the dog, as I'm sure you remember if you watched it. Just both really fun, funny like girl power roles, which was just so fun to play. Moving on to a chorus line. So. When I was in a chorus line, it was kind of like a different setup. So I was technically, well, I was Trisha. So I had my part, Trisha, who was one of the ensemble, but it's kind of hard with the chorus line because I wasn't really an ensemble. It was kind of, everyone was in the opening and then certain people got cut who like weren't the people that were on the line. So Trisha was one of those people. Um, so then the people on the line that I understudied were, okay, Connie, Judy, and then my three main ones were Bibi, Maggie, and Deanna. And those were the three that I went on for. So yeah, it was quite a lot to learn. It was five understudies in total, three first understudies. But if you don't know, basically, the kind of way it works in the UK, you have like a first cover, a second cover, and then you may have like a third cover as well. And sometimes standbys, which kind of comes before first cover. It just kind of depends. It's all a bit confusing. So the three that I went on for were Maggie, Deanna, and Bibi. Uh, Deanna is the one I probably went on for the most. Again, had a bit of a similar situation to what happened with Legally Blonde, with Margot, um, so if anyone would like me to chat about that, I, I, I can. Whew, that was a, that was a scary, scary time. So yeah, Deanna was the one I probably went on for the, mo the most for. She had some amazing songs, so she sang the song Nothing, which is a very popular song in musical theatre land. Um, and then also a fantastic, emotional, just gorgeous song. She also sings this called what, what I Did For Love, cracking tune. And then Bibi and Maggie sing a song called At The Ballet and they're both really just great parts. Like they're very different and they just have so much heart and character, all the different parts. And it was so fun to get to play each individual one because they were all so different, especially those three, like they were like complete polar opposites. So yeah, that was a bit of like a, of a I can't even do it, a bit of a this situation because they all, my mum has texted me. <laughs> it was like the best time ever, it was just so fun. And I can go into more detail about these shows, um, and I will in other videos, I just thought this would be a fun little one for like those of you that were wondering. So then the next show in the West End was Showboat. I mentioned in my top five favourite musicals that I've been in video, that Showboat was my number one favourite musical I've 
ever been in. I loved being in it as well because I got to understudy the three lead roles. They were all just such different amazing roles and such strong women. Um, so I understudied Ellie, Magnolia and Julie. So Ellie's kind of the comedy character and she gets this oh, amazing dance, Goodbye My Lady Love, which was choreographed in my production by Alistair David. I am a massive fan of his choreography. It is just the most clever, complex, but just makes so much sense choreography just so good so that dance was literally a joy a joy to perform <sighs> i loved it so much so yeah she was just such a great character with just so much heart and she, it was so fun to just be silly and she got this amazing song called life upon the wicked stage which was just like the girls just running around and throwing feather boas and just like having the best time so i absolutely loved loved that role then the other two roles magnolia and julie were very very different magnolia was, goes on a real journey throughout the show she starts really really young and then goes through such a lot in her life and you kind of meet her again at the end when she's very much older and she has like a fully grown child and she just goes through so much pain and joy and, and she's just such a great role and it's such a great sing as well like being a soprano it's just got the most gorgeous songs in it and then Julie I mean it's just such a good role I actually look like Casper the Friendly Ghost today because it's so bright in here she doesn't have as much to do but the bits she does get to do are just like fire she's just amazing it was like understudy goals like understudy dream because they were just three amazing meaty just incredible parts and to get to understudy them all and rehearse them all was so cool and i feel very lucky and proud to have been able to do it and i don't take it lightly like i don't i'm not flippant about it i really really appreciate it and i appreciate the opportunities that i have been given it's not ever something that i complacent about yeah i just think it's really cool and so then the part i understudied most recently was in a show called Beautiful, the Carol King musical at the Old Witch Theatre. And the part I understudied was the part of Cynthia Wilde. So Cynthia Wilde is Carol King, who is like, you know, beautiful. The Carol King musical. She's her best friend and like rival in the music industry at the time when they were kind of starting to make music, her and her husband, Jerry Goffin. They were kind of, there were these two couples. So there was Carol King and Jerry Goffin, and then there was Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde, and they were like fighting for you know, the hits and like the success, they were writing, two writing teams kind of competing. And then they ended up all becoming really good friends. That was like a dream role because it just combined loads of my favorite things. It had comedy, but it also had heart and emotion some fantastic like solo songs, but also some great duets. I just love like doing a bit of everything. I love parts that you can be funny, but you also can be completely serious and have really intense moments with. And I also love just having a good old thing. And she got some amazing songs and some amazing costumes as well. Oh, those costumes were gorgeous. My favorite song though was always, always Walking in the Rain. It was my favourite part of the show to perform. It made me emotional every time I sang it. I just thought it was beautiful, um, a really lovely moment because she has been so, if you've seen the show, like she's a very kind of confident, like sassy, just witty character. And she's like that the whole way through the show. So like pacey and just on it. And then she has this moment in this second act where she just kind of loses it. And she has this beautiful duet with her then boyfriend, like now husband, Barry. And they just have this like moment together and it's just like a little moment around the piano and it's just beautiful. Love that one too. I always think these videos are gonna be really short and I bet when I edit this, it's gonna be <sighs> a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little bit more insight into kind of my understudy-ness from some of the shows that I have been in. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so that I know and I know to make more videos like it and please please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it really really helps me out it means so much to me also if you have any friends or like any aspiring thespians people that want to be in musicals in acting whatever let them know about this channel give it a share on Facebook give it a share on Twitter share the love we can reach more people help more people that would be amazing so if you have any friends that you feel like would benefit from this channel or just want a laugh at my expense then send them in my direction <laughs> i hope you have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you again in my next video bye